Okay, good morning guys. Monday morning workout time. Um, this one is mostly legs, and by mostly I mean pretty much all legs. A little bit of core in there. Um, we are looking at three different rounds, and then we're going to have you finish with a little 10 minute outdoor walk or jog or run, or you can do intervals for that too, whatever you like. Just nice time to get outside. Weather's been pretty good lately. Um, so let me show you the workout first. Boom, boom, boom. Where are we? Oh, geez. There we go. But I include the picture in the email too. Um, so let's get started. Allie's going to be in this one by the look of it. Oh. Okay, so your first round is four exercises, just kind of a warm up round. Uh, we're going to do 20 jumping jacks. Then we're gonna go into 10 touchdown squat jumps. So again, that one, going wide, touch the ground. Then we're gonna go into 10 inchworms. Again, that one, starting, I'll start from a plank. You're just gonna walk yourself in, keeping your legs locked straight the whole time and then walk back in. 10 of those. Uh, then we're gonna go for 10 sit-up toe touchers. This one, again, legs flat out on the ground. Uh oh Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm going, it's okay. Sorry. Okay, it's okay, Kayla knocked over, it's her fault. No, don't blame her. Okay. Okay, this is not holding well today. Oh. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. There we go, okay. Uh, sit up toe touch, legs are flat on the ground. And you are sitting up, reach as far past. I'm almost done. As far past your toes as you can, sorry guys. Um, then you get a 30 second rest and we're going to do that three times through. So let's get the heart rate up a bit, get things warmed up. Then we are going to get into your first round. So if you want to pause it now, it's a good time to pause it. Go ahead and do that. And then you can come back in when you are done that round of stuff. All right. Then our first round of exercises, all you're going to need is a towel. So if you have one laying around, that is perfect. Um, could be anything, could be a little tea towel, can be a rag, whatever you like. Just something that slides on the floor. Um, if you have gliders at home, or even those little moving ones, it's the same idea. Just have to be able to slide. If you have nice, decent floors, you could probably even just use your socks for them. Um, so the first exercise, if you have a weight, feel free to use it. If not, it's okay to do it just body weight. Uh, 15 single leg deadlifts each side. Just get that one, you're on one leg. Coming over, and then up, over, and up. Going for 15 each side, should feel your glutes squeezing when you do that. Uh, then right after that, we're gonna go into 10 single leg reverse lunge jumps each side. So that one, you're gonna come back into a reverse lunge, and then when you come up, jump. Bringing that knee up when you come up. Going for 10 each leg. Uh, then we've got 15 toe squats. So this one we haven't done before. The idea is, you should be able to see my feet there. You're actually gonna go up onto your toes. Uh, so your heels are off the ground. And then you're gonna do 15 squats while staying on your toes. So again, balance is gonna be the hard part. Here on my toes, or on the balls of my feet, I should say. Then squat down and come up. Feel free to play around if you wanna go narrow. This is a good time to do it because your body should be able to actually keep the right tension in your muscles doing that narrow versus wide like we usually do. Uh, we'll go for 15 of those. Then we have 10 towel pikes. 
So again, that one, you're going to need your little tea towel or any kind of towel that you have. Again, you're in a plank position on your hands. You can do it from your forearms too. And then you're going to bike, squeeze the abs. Remember, it's all about trying to squeeze your abs to bring your legs up. It's 10 of those. Then we'll give you a one minute rest and we'll do that round four times as well. So again, good time to pause it. Uh, then I will show you the last round of stuff. So feel free, pause it, do the part of the workout, and I'll show you the next round. So the last round is gonna be 10 single leg glute bridges each side. So that one, on your back, one knee bent up with that foot flat on the floor. The other one, just keep out straight so your knees are actually in line. And then all you're gonna do is, by squeezing your butt, push the hips up. And again, you can have this leg down if you like as well. Just make sure when you're pushing, you're trying to push through your heel, not trying to push through your toes. We're gonna go, uh, sorry, 10 on one side, and then 10 on the other. Should feel your butt working pretty good. Uh, then we're gonna go into 15 towel hamstring curls. So again, you'll need that little tea towel again. Um, and the hamstring curls, once again, high pop. You're laying on your back. This one, hips are in the air the whole time. Feel free to balance yourself with your hands a little bit. And you're trying to keep your hips straight. I like the So you're gonna let yourself come down. And then uh, curl up. Come on. Down. Curl up and should feel that a lot in your hamstrings. Owie. Just like that. We'll go for 15 of those. Uh, then we're looking at 10 jump squats and 15 pulse squats. 15 pulse squats are just your one inch squats, just a different name for them. So 10 jump squats. And then you're going into 15 pulse squats. Then you got a one minute rest. We're gonna do that four times. And then to finish off, I just want you to do 10 minutes outside. Uh, oh, nice little walk or jog or run, whatever you're up for. If you have a bike, feel free to go for a bike ride. Uh, but minimum 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be now, but sometime today. Awesome, guys. Enjoy the Monday workout. Sorry about the phone falling down a bunch of times. Um, and look forward to sending out the Wednesday one. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.